Morning, how's it going? Welcome back, episode two of my podcast. So today, today I'm having a cup of tea, cheers. Yorkshire tea, because I'm from Yorkshire and it's the tea that I like. So today I want to talk about how I got into Brighouse and Rass Street Brass Band. Um, let me just put my phone on mute so it doesn't buzz anymore. Apologies for that. Um, yeah, so I want to talk about how I got into Brighouse and Rass Street. And I don't just want to talk about, look at me, aren't I brilliant? Um, I want to talk about the opportunity and the lesson that came from it. Um, the purpose of these podcasts is for me is to use things that I've done in the past and try and apply them as lessons today in case they're of benefit to anybody. Um, now in the case of me, um, 1992 ish, um, I was working in a bank in Brighouse, which is in West Yorkshire in England. And the guy that used to look after the money, the treasurer for the band, used to come in and pay money in every week. And I got talking and, you know, one, one day I told him that I played Cornet in another band. Anyway, long story short, um, we ended up talking about it and he put in a good word and he got me an audition. Um, now, for me as a Cornet player growing up in Brighouse, having an audition to play in Brighouse and Rastrick was, you know, just like the biggest thing ever. Um, to put it in terms which you might understand, imagine that you're just a football player or a rugby player or whatever it might be, and you play for a local team, not very good, um, and you get the opportunity to go and have an audition to try out for Liverpool or Manchester United. It, it was it was like that basically, um, and there was another band that I was looking at at the time in Huddersfield. Um, had an audition for them, and I accepted a place with them actually. And then the the audition for Big House came afterwards, um, and then they offered me the the they offered me a place in Big House. Um, and I was talking to my dad about it at the time, and I said, you know, what should I do? I've got this this opportunity to play with Big House, which is what I'd wanted to do since I was since I was little. Anyway, Brigas from Astrid playing purple and gold uniforms. Um, so my dad's response to that question was, take the purple and gold, my son. Um, anyway, this was one of those opportunities where it was being in the right place at the right time. Um, and I think that's the, the sort of the main lesson. Quite often we'll be just going about our normal life and things come along when you don't expect them but they completely change your, change your life um, and sometimes you've just got to go with the opportunities even though they seem out of reach and even though they might seem impossible and even though they might seem like maybe you're not good enough and you're having second doubts um, you've got to go with it so I did and I was with them for seven years um, played all over the world won the British National Championship, played in Albert Hall a bunch of times, I've recorded in Abbey Road, you know, all these amazing opportunities, played with some of the greatest musicians on the planet, um, beautiful, beautiful musicians, learned an absolute ton about life, being a musician, being a man, um, just really, really good schooling. So um, I'm going to talk more about this in future podcasts, but the thing I want to leave you with is, if an opportunity comes along, go for it. You never know what it's going to lead to. Um, you never know what doors it's going to open up and you never know where it's going to take you. Um, I think that's it for today. Short and sharp for this second episode. I will be back with another one soon. Thanks very much for listening. Catch you later. <laughs>